Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, uh, what is going on between you and a specific person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with, what are the energies between you, how do you feel about each other, what are you thinking about each other for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? I haven't used this deck in a while, but I wanted to use it for you guys. Let's start with what's going on between you and this particular person. Spirit, tell me about what's going on between Sagittarius and this other person at this time. What are the mutual energies between Sagittarius and this other person? The Emperor, Aries energy. What's going on here for Sagittarius? What's going on between Sagittarius and this person they're thinking about or connecting with. Wow, the Knight of Coin. What else is going on here? The mutual energies between Sagittarius and this person. The Empress. Wow, the Emperor and the Empress came out. Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck and the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is a serious connection or a serious partnership. The Emperor and the Empress are together or this is your person, like this is your partner, your counterpart, the person you're meant to be with. I feel like things are slowly coming together with a Knight of Coin, almost like this is a process is what I'm getting, that's the word, process. So there's, there's this is this has not been a, com a connection that has moved quickly or will move quickly. I feel like there's like a lot of things to kind of work around or a long path in front of you or Maybe you just want to take things slow so that they remain steady, something like that. Let's see. Tell me about this Knight of Coin. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune, yes. So I'm getting, it can't be rushed. Whatever's happening here, it can't be rushed, Sagittarius. It's meant to happen in a specific time frame for a reason and it won't happen quickly whatever this is wow the wheel of fortune with the emperor and the empress when i have the wheel of fortune with the emperor and the empress like close to each other i think divine counterparts like the universe has brought you together or it's like you're meant to be with this person let's get some energy oracles out here Tell me about the energy between Sagittarius and this other person. Energies, please, guys, please, for Sagittarius. What's going on here between Sagittarius and this person? What's going on here between Sagittarius and this person? Secret admirer. You've caught someone's eye and then new beginnings at the bottom of the deck. I kind of want to take that new beginning as I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. Maybe this is someone that has had their eye on you for some time and wants a new beginning with you. Tell me more. Tell me more. What's going on between Sagittarius and this other person? I'm using my own Oracle decks in this video. They are linked down below if you're curious about any of them. Tell me about this energy between Sagittarius and this person. What's going on in this connection? What's the energy in this connection? Love spell, new love, passion, infatuation. Some of you, this could be somebody completely new that has had their eye on you for a while and there's a new beginning in love for you. Others of you with infatuation, I keep thinking about that word, infatuation. Like there's already an existing foundation there. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. Storybook romance is at the bottom of the deck. So yes, whatever's happening, it's beautiful. Um, there's chemistry, there's mutual feelings. This is like, you know, a love that you can like imagine or like, you know, it's, it's almost like a dreamy energy. I love this so far. Okay, Sagittarius, let's dive into how each of you feels about the other so on the left i'm going to have your energy and on the right i'm going to have this person's energy feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you all right tell me about sagittarius 
how is Sagittarius thinking, feeling about this person or about this connection? Tell me about Sagittarius. Wow, the tower. Well, there's something sudden, unexpected, something that maybe you didn't see coming uh, when it comes to this connection, this person. Maybe there was a tower moment in some, in the, in the case of like a revelation, like maybe you revealed something to this person or this person revealed something to you. Tell me about Sagittarius. What are their energies when it comes to this person, this connection? I got two. Wow, the Ace of Coin. I think this could have been a surprise offer. Wow, the Seven of Cups, yes. I think someone made you an offer that you weren't expecting and now you have like to decide if you want it. Yeah, two of coin. You have to decide if you want to uh, accept this offer or not. I don't know why this would be so surprising to you, but that's what's coming out here. Let's find out. Tell me about this tower. Yeah, this is like a surprising message or surprising like revelation with the Knight of Swords. Someone reveals something to you. You get a message, a conversation happens that does not, it, it surprises you. It shocks you. It's unexpected. And now you have a choice to make because it's an offer that you weren't, you didn't see coming. Tell me more. What do we need to know about Sagittarius? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about Sagittarius? About their energies when it comes to this person? I wish I could go back in time. Now, this could be something that you're hearing from this person, or this could be how you feel. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Mistakes. Okay, so there's some regrets here. Now, this could be you. This could be this other person. I'm getting that for some of you, the story is like a friend or someone that you didn't give a chance to. Someone that was in your vicinity. But I'm getting this energy that you wasted your time with someone else, Sagittarius. Let, please let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. But I feel like this is not, I'm not fully getting strongly that this is that someone made a mistake with you specifically. Almost like you wish you could go back in time so that you didn't make a specific choice because time has been wasted or you wish you could go back in time to undo a mistake so that you could have more time with a specific person. That's kind of the energy I'm getting there. Obviously that won't resonate with everyone, but um, it's almost like maybe also you ended up married or in a long-term commitment with someone and it didn't work out. And it's like you wish you could go back in time so that you could be a different person now or have different opportunities now or or something like that. Because I feel like whatever this is, is almost like it's tied to that. Like maybe someone brings you an offer and it's a friend or a secret admirer, someone you didn't know was interested in you because this is a secret admirer. You don't know that they're interested in you. So they surprise you with this offer, this, in, you know, they're telling you that they're interested in you. It surprises you, but it's almost like you're thinking, well, if I was younger, I would accept, or if I didn't have these responsibilities, I would accept, or if this or that was in my life, I would accept. That's kind of, you know, an energy here, but it also could be that this person tells you, Hey, I screwed up because I should have revealed my feelings sooner. I should have, I wish I could go back in time so that I could ask you this sooner. I see that as well. Tell me about this person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What are their energies when it comes to Sagittarius or this connection spirit? What are their energies towards Sagittarius or this connection? Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands. Okay, passionate, motivated, envisioning success. Can I get one more? I feel like they're very attracted to you, whoever this is. 
I get one more for this person's energy towards Sagittarius. Oh yeah, Page of Cups. Um, I feel like this person is not going to come on too strong, even though they wish they could. I feel like this person is going to be like impulsive. They're going to be impulsive, but not over the top. Because the Page of Cups to me is like, I like you. I have feelings for you. It's not like the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is like, oh, I'm dying for you. I'm, I'm in love with you. You know, the Knight of Cups is definitely deeper feelings. So when I see the Page of Cups here with the Page of Wands, I think pages are like the, you know, they're not a knight. So they're, they, they, they take things a little bit. It's like stage one, phase one. So when I see the Page of Cups here, I think of someone that's not like unburdening their whole heart, you know. They're going to be, I feel, they're going to take the initiative to tell you that they like you, to tell you that they have these feelings, but I don't think that they're going to be very pushy about it. Even though deep down, this person has the hots for you. Like they really are attracted to you, really um, like you with the Queen of Wands and really are hoping for success here with you with the Six of Wands. I feel like they already have like a goal. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? The devil capricorn energy and the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck yes they are like consumed by this idea of a happy ending with you they might be a little bit obsessed with this idea it's almost like they believe it very strongly that's what i'm getting here like this is someone that knows deep down that if you would accept them that you would be happy together yeah three of coin like you could build this together, this Ten of Cups. They're very confident in, in that. But obviously they can't force you. They can't force you to accept them. So completely up to you if you decide to accept them. Tell me a more for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know about what this person is thinking, feeling when it comes to them? Committed to you? Oh yeah, this person, they have, they, they're thinking long-term with you, whoever this is. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know? I must confess that I am in love with you. Yeah. I feel like this is someone that's confessing that they've had these feelings for you and you're not expecting that from them. You're not expecting this confession. We have known each other before. I feel like this is someone from your past, but I don't necessarily think you had a relationship with them. I feel like for a lot of you, this is like a coworker, a friend, um, maybe an, an, uh, an ex or like someone you, you had a fling with in summer camp when you were little, <laughs> something like that. They're, they're not going to come on too strong, even though they feel very strongly about this. Could be a Capricorn, could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is here. Um, I feel like this is, this is your person. I just don't know if you know that, Sagittarius. Like this might not be the person that you're thinking is your person, but I think they are. And, they're, and Spirit is going to bring this offer to you in the right time. It's going to surprise you, but it was meant to happen at that time. So this is a very fascinating reading. So I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. Thank you so much for checking out the you and them reading. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.